full disclosure, I have actually played this map once before. Uh, there were some issues during the last play of this map, and I'm going to look to rectify those. I'm looking to get a good play of this map, because this is a good map. This is a great map. This is a fantastic map. This is Doomed Chapter 3 by Vlad Kablitsky. The time for revealing the truth has come, and you're getting closer to fulfill your destiny. Two lives. That map ID is BVGD27B3, currently sitting with 23 plays, 10 upvotes. It has earned its gold stars in Campaign and Custom Geo and looks pretty close to be earning its uh, its stars in Story as well. So let's take a look at that author profile. Vlad Kablitsky has played three days and 16 hours of snap map content, accumulating 197,000 snap map points in the process. This appears to be their sixth map. Uh, in the, in the, of course, they've made a total of six maps. Most of those are going to be part of the Doomed series in one form or another, which is a fantastic series. Uh, it's got some fun writing in it, some uh, just amazing custom geo. If you've not been exposed to the work of Vlad Kablitsky yet, do yourself a favor and start your journey right with uh, some some awesome Vlad Kablitsky maps. Speaking of which, uh, we're also looking at a 91% upvote rating off of 149 upvotes, so you know you don't have to take my word for it. Take a look at that upvote rating and see for yourself. And then watch this playthrough because uh, this map is awesome. It is Doom Chapter 3 and I'm going to try to beat it in two lives or less. All right. As we stare into the glowy gold, or glowy green thing here, we see that uh, double jump is enabled. And, of course, I'm in my badass armor. Yeah. You know it. Weapon Wheel says that I have all kinds of tools and rakes and implements of destruction, as uh, Arlo Guthrie would put it. And, uh... Leave single jump only, but hey, you know, nothing's perfect. Now look at this truck. This is this is one truck of a truck right here. Amazing. Okay. Take a look around here. Do do. Oh, we do have double jump. There it is. Okay. Well, hey. Just needed a minute to find it, I suppose. All right. This warehouse is open and just crying out for me to get stuff from it. Okay, so we have data pad, disciplinary action notice, immediate attention required. Dear Mr. Kabutin, it has come to our attention that several De Delta employees have filed a number of reports regarding your behavior around the Delta facility. We would like to remind you that the image of our company is formed by coherent work and dedication of every UAC employee. That leads us to the point where your actions are becoming unprofessional and unserious. Please visit your personal HR manager as soon as you can for a disciplinary action assignment, which we hope will restrain you from painting UAC unapproved letters and symbols on the facility walls. Failure to comply will result in your termination. Have a nice day! Well, somebody's been painting naughty stuff on the walls. Those jerks. Alright, so if I, uh... Look more carefully in here, will I find the, uh... Oh, well, hello! Nifty Keen, okay. Alrighty. Cool pants. What do we have here? Is the BFG. The big friendly gun. That's right. Well, that was awesome sauce. All right, let's uh, let's go back to uh, do this again for the first time. Wah, yourself, pal. Yeah. Shut up, kid. Pretty sure something's behind me. Boop. Yeah. Take that, Invisio Piggy. And a grenade for you! Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, fine. I'll play it this way. Just remember, you made me do it! Alright. 
Alright. Okay, who the fat guy? More armor over there. Alright, and uh. Skadoosh! Boopy! Schwamp! There you go. It was the Schwamp that totally did it. Alright. Alright, we get everybody. Is everybody all counted for, marked, and membered there? Alright. I am satisfied that you are all as dead as I like. And I like you pretty dead. This is becoming some amazing collabs going on here. Alright. Now we are in this area. This spooky area with the really awesome set work and just... Uh, th th I'm loving this. Emergency power only. All of Delta operations suspended. You're suspended, young man. Alright, let's see here. I'm gonna call the elevator. Oh! Oh, now the screens are bleeding. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh darn. Oh jeez. Ah! Yeah. Oh, well. Shoot you in that electric green booty boot of yours there. Alright, there we go. Everything's back to normal. Can we catch this elevator now, please? Alright. Oh, yeah, this cool ass area here. This is super groovy. Grab this armor. This armor. Oh, uh, alright. Is Triple H about to come out? What's going on here? Ah, well then, hey guys! Got some air support going on here. I don't have to worry about you guys sooner rather than later, I think. Whether I want to or not. And I want to, as it turns out, because, you know, shooting you giant meaty ball guys is one of my few rare pleasures in life. One of my few true pleasures is watching you guys jib into all kinds of little jiblies. You got the best jiblies in the business, y'all. Your jiblies so good, tail ahead be using your jiblies to represent other jiblies. You guys are the imitation crab of Ghibli's. Yeah. Yeah. Any more of you turds? Let's do this, you turds. Huh. Man, that is so cool. Oh, another hell tablet. Well, let's uh, let's get through it. Let's get ready to read here. Tempered by the fires of the First Crusade, and blessed by the light, with furious gaze, he looked upon the hordes of evil, fleeing from the righteous fury. For courage and valor inherent only for the Chosen One, the bless of immortality descended upon him, putting the hordes of decay in the chaos. A legend has born. A light crusade has begun. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I swear to god, man. This is like this is like the stuff Vikings read to each other before they have sex. Holy cow. Vikings do not have sex, you pervert. Okay, fine. It's just a joke anyway, you stupid tablet. Whatever. Okay. Okay, so that, uh, uh, apparently I can't go that way, or that way. Oh, you know what, there's probably like a, oh yeah, deactivate force fields. Alright, that's done. Alright, so something tells me I need to go to the power room first. Just a hint. Alright. Stuff in here. More super duper cyber wiper glowy bits. 
Alright. Bring him on. Let's do this. Right in your butt! Right in your barren, Heine. Your barren ass. <laughs> Alright. Let's put a dress. Let's go ahead inside and boop. Alright. That's so cool. <laughs> like just wonderful sound design all around in this map. Like just amazing everything going on in this map. Oh hey, what's up, you big old thing of a round thing? You know, what's that? What's that word everybody likes to use to describe you that describes a round thing that is often a, uh, a, a an expression meaning um, part of the body? Um, orange, I think it is, yes. Okay. I want you down first because I'm sick of your crap. I want to be able to run in peace, thank you. Oh, there's another one. Uh, no, let's, uh, let's go to crowd control here. Alright. Oh, there we go. Boop, boop. Boop. Oh, nice, 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 nice. But I am running a little low on the healthy stuff. So, I need to take a small thought to that. Stick and move. I daffy ducked my way into this situation. I can daffy duck my way back out of it. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, there's two of them. That's what I wasn't accounting for. For some reason, I thought there was only the one. All right, give me the health, give me the health! Yeah. Okay, uh, okay, good. Thank you. Poof. All right. Well, now if you'll excuse me, I need to clean some poop out of some things. Not necessarily my pants. Totally my pants. I pooped my pants. <laughs> All right. Oh, and I totally forgot I have the BFG. Man, what's the point of even having the dog on BFG if I'm gonna forget to use it? All right. This is okay. We're back over here. Uh, did I leave myself any healthy bits back here? Probably not, but uh, worth checking nonetheless. Oh, I can't go back. Can't get that from here. Anything down there? There might be. Come down and check. Well, you know. I guess the real question is, if I do go down there, is there a way to get back up? Oh, I see a switch. Okay, definitely. Definitely something down here. Yeah. What's up, guys? Give me that Christmas ornament. Yeah. Interesting you both are planning. <laughs> Extra life! Hell yeah! What a time to get an extra life, too. I'm just about to freaking die. Let's see if I can survive the extra life attempt here. Yeah! 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 Actually came out of that better than uh, went into it. That's freaking awesome. All right, super groovy. Oh, and there's some armor for me. Awesome sauce. All right, hyped. Get hyped. Yes, indeed. I'm feeling good now. I'm feeling like I could uh, maybe win this. All right. Swoopity doop. There we go. Now, uh, now that I've that was the power station. I did. Awesome sauce. Now to head on over to the prototype room, where we're going to talk to John Cena's very first wrestling character in OVW. There's a joke nobody's going to get. Wonderful job, Zilla! 
Okay. Guess we're doing crowd control now. All right. Yeah. All right. Oh. Will do. Good for them, they got... Oh, gee, many Christmas, I have more danger to myself right now than these stupid demons. Oh! Yeah! Shoot you in the butt! Ow! Shoot him in the butt! Ow! Shoot him in the butt! Come on! Shoot him in the butt! Oh, well, no, please, please, continue. Do not let me interfere with this little lover's spat you've got going on right now. There you go. And uh, I'm sure there's more stuff in here. Yep, there he is. All right. And Tubby. What's up, Tubby? Okay, a little more energy here, some health, uh, and poetry! Let's do it! <laughs> the more he battled through endless ages and kept slaying his greatest enemies, the more he was feeling a growing darkness inside. Desperate, he has begun searching for his roots as the memories have long been lost. And when the centuries have passed, with unprecedented grief, he found himself being a child from unholy union of evil and light. A branches of evil has kept entangling his mind, and the dark side has begun seeking a way out of his heart. With an unspeakable fury, he has turned aside from his lords, losing his bless, losing his pride. Only anger has left. The legend has died. Badass. All right. So, let's uh, make sure we're all equipped stuffed up here. There's some buttons we got to push here. Critical damage to power converters. Converters offline. Test the result in structure breakdown immediately. Huh? Uh, oh yeah, do I have to, like, I think I have to fix a thing first or something? Whoa, 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 oh, 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 yeah, that's right, the gun shoots and... Oh, that's crazy, crazy. All right. Man, that's such cool-looking Geo. All right, we are, we are up on the ledge. Oh, yeah, this is, we blew our way through to the, to the prototype room. All right. Not doing so great on the armor stuff, so. Oh, yeah. Yes. Let's activate these big guys here. And it just keeps getting cooler and cooler. Oh, more poetry! Here we go! Imprisoned for betrayal, dishonored for heresy, he lies in the depths of his insanity, weak and forgotten. But the Chosen Ones cannot be abandoned. When the time will come, a great lord will turn his gaze upon Forgotten. Until then, the Chosen Ones will suffer, waiting for release of accumulated anger, as he still does. His path is defined. His soul is doomed. Yeah. 
All right, we got the big old tall blue one here. All right, icy blue all over the place. All right, this one is activated. More stuff here. New entry. Core Axe Entry Report. Dr. Braddock, here's the report about the Korax decryption you've requested. It seems that in the other dimension existed a dynasty of unknown lords whose titles transcript as the Overseer, or mostly the Great Overseer. According to the decrypted Korax entries 2.56 and 5.78, there are four mentioned overseers existed. Each one has begun his reign with the beginning of the each age. The role of the overseers is yet unknown, but the Korax entry 3.56 describes a prophecy according to which an overseer of the fourth age will call on his side a certain chosen one, which described as the beginning of some great alliance. I recommend to take a closer study of the found human specimen now being held at our orbital prison. I bet that refers to me. All right. Well, fine then. You want to get a study of me? You want to see me in action? Well, hey, flip those cameras on and get ready for a show. Because I have a feeling that once I activate all these little doo-wops here, poo-poo is going to go right down. And I have no plans on going down with it. Uh, something's decrypting. Like in the Harbinger. Okay. So activate the little tablet here. Ooh. Right back at you, buddy. Right back at you. Harbinger, the chosen ones will never be forgotten. They were chosen for a reason. We know the nature of the blessed fallen one. The great overseer has seen your dark roots. As he indeed. The great union is coming as sad in the prophecy. Our enemies feeling the great fear. Yeah. Yeah. The hunter is coming as their last desperate move. Bring him on. Defeat him and prove your worth. I shall. Douche. I'm gonna save some of that for later because you know. Indeed. The dragon is being you, I bet, huh? I always got time for you, Shaw, buddy. Yeah. More you say, huh? Bring it on, guys. Bring it on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Anybody, anybody else here? Anybody else, uh... Whoa! Well, I guess so, buddy. Yeah! Oh, more fun time with Bonzo, huh? No idea what you're shooting at there, but hey, okay. Apparently, it's very important that that bird knows you freaking hate it. Uh huh. Snack time for big boys. Everybody gets a snack, and I'm making it out of your own organs. What do you think about that? Okay, of course he's mad because he didn't get a snack. Okay. Um, not necessarily. Okay. Oh, there we go. I was waiting for one of you idiots to show up. Come on. 
Come on, let's dance. Oh, okay then. That worked out just fine for everyone involved. By everyone involved, I mean just me. I'm the only ones involved. None of you guys count. You are demons. You are the scum beneath my shoe, and I spit upon you as I would a rabid dog. Why would I spit on a rabid dog? I don't know. To lubricate it first before I throw it in a wood chipper. Who knows? I'm just crazy like that. Give me a rabid dog to play with, and apparently I'm going to spit on it and throw it in a wood chipper. Oh, boy. This is why I became a Doom guy, because I have issues to work out. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. There we go. All right. And happy, happy-go-lucky poop nuts here is probably going to come back out for me here. Fair enough. Oh, well. Thanks for reminding me I have this thing. <laughs> All right. So, uh, all right, Harbinger. The Great Union is coming. The prophecy has come true. Fair enough. Uh... It's gone all red. Nope! Oh, I won! And I did it without even dying once. Nifty Keen! <laughs> Look, I, I don't... I, I don't want to seem biased when I call it this map probably the best chapter in the series that is one of the best series custom geo-wise in the entirety of snap maps and probably the entirety of human creation. I don't want to oversell it. I don't want, you know, because that that that, that would be a, a bad idea. What I do want to say <laughs> is I enjoyed this one very, very much. Uh, this, is a, this is a whole lot of fun to play. Uh, it continues to have all the elements that make the Doom series fun. You know, the poetic stones that you're running across. And you keep unlocking all of these, like, custom geo builds of, like, these old gods that, uh, you know, that, that you have to, you know, sort of liberate and, and, and just, interact with and and it, it, it just it, it the the series is by and large uh, a lot of like really good excuses for these like really classic custom geo builds like that the vlad only vlad kablitsky makes like he this he has a very specific style and it comes across so well uh, it continues to come across so well in this campaign so very good there. Uh, in addition to all of that, though, uh, what I'm really digging about this is that the combat itself is not just sort of cookie cutter stuff. It is, you know, it is challenging, but there are specific scenarios going on. You can see that there's a method to the madness, and I really respect that. Like for example, like the thing with the cyber manks that was always sort of throwing me off on all my previous playthroughs. Um, I can I can now kind of take a step back and kind of appreciate sort of what's going on there because you know you you. you you know, while you're trying to like control the crowd, you've also got like you know cybermanks mixed in there that are making it more you know more challenging for you to move. Uh, the the way secrets are hidden are definitely very challenging. This is definitely a very next level uh, experience where there's a lot of subtlety involved in the design that it rewards you for exploring and being creative. It's, uh, so I really dig it for that. There's a whole lot of great reasons to play this map. None not to. And if anything, you know, use this map ID to seek out Vlad Kablitsky and play the entire Doom series from its beginning. Uh, you will. It's a, it's a wonderful afternoon if you haven't done it yet. So that's Doom to Chapter 3 by Vlad Kablitsky. That map ID, one more time, is BVGD27B3. Check it out. Loving it. Mm -hmm.